Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the Shave Den. It's lunchtime on Friday. Hope you're doing good. It's the end of the week and I've got a few new products to try out today. Actually, uh, since, well, I don't know, you know, we were able to travel again. I don't know if we're going to continue to be able to travel, but uh, I have been able to do a few uh, weekend getaway road trips and every once in a while I bring the uh, uh, shaving equipment and I'll do a, a shave. You've seen, I've done some travel shaves. And usually transporting the equipment can be a problem, especially with a brush. Uh, some, of the, some of the brushes, one of the travel brushes that I use uh, has the plastic container. This is the, uh, what are we doing? The Volfix, and that's one of them that I bring. But you know, it's kind of a smaller brush, and I, I do like the idea of being able to bring my normal brush or a, a much bigger brush with me. So I got a, a mail call from Captain's Choice. They have just came out with some accessories for uh, us sh wet shavers who travel uh, to protect their equipment or to protect your equipment when you're traveling. And uh, first of all, the, you know, I've been using my Mercure. 34C uh, so often, and I do bring that for travel. And Captain's Choice has this cool leather uh, protector, head protector for the uh, uh, DE -E razor, any DE -E razor. It's got your nice brass snap on it. You uh, just pull out the eraser just like that. It's uh, designed and created by the younger brother of the owner of Captain's Choice. He's, he's come up with uh, these leather items that you can use to transport your uh, razors on travel. And I think they're pretty cool. Not only razor, but you can bring your favorite brush. Look at this. There's the Captain's Choice logo. Look at this. So this uh, allows your brush to dry, uh, protects your brush, protects the bristles. It's kind of a cool thing. It's leather. We'll just open it up like this, and there you've got your brush locked in. And this happens to be a Captain's Choice brush that uh, also made in the USA that uh, is now available on their site. And a pretty cool handle. It's got a lot of blue in it. It's hard to see with these lights here. They're not the greatest, but uh, it's a synthetic brush. So we'll be using that today. And that is the leather case. <sighs> Smell is great. Smell is great. Let me set the leather out of the way so I don't accidentally drop them in the sink, which would not be good. And we will put the synthetic brush inside here. Perfect. I even cleaned up the crystal skull today. It was looking a little, a little milky with all the soap that was all over it. All right. Uh, it's summer. It's overcast, but it, it's humid. It's hot. So uh, I'm going to do some more menthol. Uh, soap and aftershave today. So I might as well stay with the theme. I'm going to use Captain's Choice North. I've used this before. This isn't a review of the uh, the soap or anything. I was really impressed with those leather travel accessories and they are available now, but you know, they do sell out <laughs> and each one is unique. You know, each piece of leather is a little different than the rest. So, all right, I've got the, uh, the bowl here. I'll get my, uh, 50 pence piece, scoop out some of this soft soap, put it in here. Still got a little on my fingers, make it a little slippery. And we'll have a shave. I'm getting close to taking the goatee off. I enjoy it, man, I enjoy it. I haven't had a goatee, you've seen it. I Usually it's Movember I have the goatee and uh, it's sometimes in the springtime. Um, I'm actually enjoying it right now, but I will be taking it off. Some people say it looks good. Some people say it looks bad. I like it. Well, let it hang on and uh, I'll use a razor that I can just uh, knock it down with. Now I see I'm all prepared except for blades. Hold on. As prepared as I would think I would like to be, I usually forget a lot of things. So uh, a <laughs> Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade. You cannot shave, gentlemen. 100% fact, you cannot shave with a DE razor if you don't have a blade in it. You can, it'll look fun, you can let, your, let your kid do it, but uh, you're not gonna cut any whiskers off. So let's put the uh, 
Wilkins sword shell neck right into the Mercure 34. We are set to go. All right, shall we get started? Oh, I've got a little hotter water than usual. Wet the whiskers a little bit. Captain's Choice brush. It's funny, uh, a lot of these websites, like I type Captain's Choice soaps, man. All these other sites come up first before the Captain's Choice actual sites come up. So uh, a lot of people either uh, want you to visit their site or they, uh, they just want you to go buy from them first. But uh, I've got links to the actual Captain's Choice site in there. And I looked as of today, I did not see any reviews on these leather travel uh, accessories from Captain's Choice. So. This might be the first one out there, and I appreciate uh, appreciate the folks giving me the opportunity to to try out their products, and hopefully we get through this COVID and get back to traveling. And man, I haven't been on an airplane in two years, but uh, even if you're driving and you're going away for a few days or a week, you usually need to shave, so you might as well protect your investment. All right, 34C. You could, I could do this one blindfolded, man. This 34C is just fantastic. I don't want to get too close to my goatee blindfolded, so. One of my favorite. I, I like the G because of Joe in Queens got me hooked. He went to uh, Pasteur's and he bought the 34G and I like the look of the gold, uh, but the C is my go-to backup. I don't travel with a gold razor. You gotta figure if you're traveling, there's always a slim chance you could lose something. And a 34C I can replace very, very easy. I'm not sure about the G. The G is a little ex more expensive, not much, but Plans for the weekend? I'm working on the garage. How fun is that? Getting that all cleaned up. <laughs> I've actually been asked. I, I, I recorded some sound effects from my Elvira Scared Stiff Pinball for a gentleman who's developing a virtual uh, a virtual pinball game. And he I got him all the, what he needed. And he said, uh, would I mind doing World Cup soccer? Uh, recording some of the sound effects on that. Not the, not the talking that you can get, you know, the, the common, you know, Elvira speaking. But the actual sound effects of the game in play. So World Cup is next. I'm going to record that. I get to play pinball and be recording it. I just have to make sure me and the dog don't say any, uh, <laughs> anything during the recording. All right. And I will be doing a giveaway soon. I will give away the extra Ken Surf's brush. It's not much, you know, but uh, I don't need two of them. And it'd be nice to give it away uh, to one of you. So that contest will be coming up shortly. Just similar to the usual ones I do. I noticed, I don't know if it's an error, but when I had my last big giveaway, one of the gentlemen in Turkey won, uh, man, Razor, he won one of the big prizes, and it cost me $100 to ship that uh, FedEx, I think it was, to Turkey, and it still says pending. He hasn't picked it up. It's something to do with that address. So I basically, I don't think he has it, uh, I think it's lost in the mail and they did not return it to me. So, man, that's another uh, war story where if you don't have an address, I, you know what, I'm just going to say, if the U.S. Post Office can't deliver it, I mean, uh, 
I do say that, but I thought I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. FedEx, I didn't realize it'd be a hundred bucks, but uh, hey, he won, and I sent it, and I gave him the tracking number, and it just says pending pickup. So I don't know what that means, but that's been a good three or four months, man. So I don't think I'll do that again. If I can't mail at U.S. mail, priority mail or something, uh, you guys are going to have to give me a different address when I ship. No offense. All right. I like the synthetic brush. I checked their site, it's at a reasonable price. It's at like in the $20 range. All right. I was going to use uh, Naughton, Naughton and Wilson's new uh, aftershave. This is kind of a high-end uh, aftershave, or aftershave, Oude Parfum. Uh, so I figure I'll use it in another shave with uh, maybe, a, you know, a little higher-end, a higher-end shave, we'll see. Not that this wasn't high-end, it's just that these, these products that I use today are very reasonably priced. Some people might not want to spend a hundred and a half for uh, some, uh, some cologne. Some will. I mean, Creed, holy cow, you're going to... Don't even ask what much Creed costs. I would never do that again. That is too damn expensive. All right. Nor'easter. I also have the uh, aftershave. This is the bomb, but I also have the, uh, the liquid that does have alcohol in it. But we'll just use this today. No cuts, no irritation. That's what you need. I started going through my emails and uh, it was, I'm a big fan, uh, uh, love your channel, can we talk? And I thought, talk, what does he want me to call him? So I emailed back, I said, yeah, what, what, what do you want to know? Oh. I figured it was going to be, you know, a shaming question. I get a lot of them. Oh, uh, I see you have 26,000 subscribers. Would you like to boost that number for $100? I will I will find a, you know, ugh, block. Uh, unbelievable. All right. We're set. We're set to go the day, man. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I really enjoy travel accessories, and I'm really partial to real uh, leather and uh, made in the U.S. Uh, very nice, very nice, very nice. These are going to go in my travel bag, and I will, they smell good, I will be using them, and hopefully we all get to go travel again, you know. So I'm going to probably retire this one, or not retire, just not use it so often, but uh, I mean, it does, that's your breathing hole in a plastic container. Uh, you saw that the whole end on the letter wrap was open, so it'll help the brush dry. And plus, you don't want to put wet brush in <laughs> a fresh leather. It probably won't have a good result. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.